So today I'm using my uh, Xeon uh, X5450. As you can see here, it's on the usual 775 test bench, 25 degrees in here. It's reached 70 degrees so far. It's actually running on 1.3 volts at the minute at 3.873 gigahertz, which is better than my Core 2 Quad Extreme. I've got set FSB up here. So I'm just going to increase this by 5 or 10 at a time, probably 5 now because I'm getting pretty high frequency considering the voltage. Um, but it is running at higher temperatures than the Core 2 Quad. So I'm going to increase this by 5 here. Set so FSB should be just over 3.9 on Cinebench. it goes so when I'm overclocking things I usually just do this so get these three up here set the voltage manually in the BIOS um, the reason why I had it on the memory screen to start with is because I know how fast my memory can go so if I uh, using front side bus um, obviously that overclocks the processor and the memory and the north bridge, I've set the north bridge and front side bus voltage and memory voltage in so that it'll work at maximum frequencies of any of them up to 500 megahertz plus on the front side bus um, but if the memory goes over about 570 I think it is uh, then the computer will crash from the memory so I'll, I'm making sure that it doesn't go over 570 otherwise I just might as well reboot um, as you can see it's under full load, it's reaching about 70 degrees which is hotter than my Core 2 Quad it is still going, it's been getting about just over 400 points uh, 427 was the last score but obviously this isn't optimised at all I've got everything open and running while the benchmark's going so this is just a stability test really there we go, 730 because that wasn't much of a clock increase this is really impressive. As I said, this is 1.3 volts. Um, so running at nearly 4 gigahertz on 1.3 volts on a, uh, a 775 ship is pretty impressive. I wonder how high it will actually go. Uh, I don't know how high I'll be able to go because the temperatures are so high already. Which is quite weird. I might just have to reapply the thermal paste or something to fix it. I'll have to see. Well, this is the process I do, and and basically just until it blue screens, just increase that by five or ten each time. Run the test, increase it. Run the test, increase it. Run the test. And then once it blue screens, look what the blue screen code is, um, and then. Depending on what the blue screen code is, I'll give the CPU more voltage, I'll put the RAM speed down a little bit, uh, or front side bus or north bridge voltage back up, but it usually isn't those two to be fair. Uh, as you can see as usual, the uh, RAM is lighting away and that's actually focused quite well on that today. Amazing, you can see the individual LEDs, that when it focuses like that. So what it actually looks like in real life, not this washed out thing which it does when it on, goes on to autofocus. Now I'm using the same board, 8400GS as always. <sighs> it's nearly done this run. There we go, 436. And again, up another 5. We'll be over 4 gigahertz now on 1.3 volts still. Look, I haven't changed anything. <laughs> Pretty impressive is this if this manages it. Um, as you've already seen in previous videos, my highest score is actually with a Core 2 quad, um, and that was at I think 1.55 volts, but that managed 4.4 something gigahertz. Uh, so that was a fight, or I think it was a 470, no, 497 
uh, front side bus speed on that so that was pretty fast and it's actually a pretty good chip as well as that one so if this is better then I'll be very impressed the only thing I'm concerned about like I said earlier is these slightly higher temps but then the ambient temperature is pretty warm and I can always put some uh, better thermal paste on or a bigger heat sink so I'm just going to keep doing this until it blue screens and then I'll come back with the uh, final results see what it can do on 1.3 volts and I'll go up to 1.4 and then 1.45 is probably as high as I'll bother going on air see ya now on 1.3 volts I managed to get to 460 on the front side bus uh, that was 4.14 gigahertz I think it was I'll just check that a second that was 460 yeah about 1.4.14 uh, gigahertz so I've bumped the voltage up to uh, 1.4 volts now I've had to drop the memory speed down because it kept crashing which is a bit annoying so it's on a 1 to 1 now which means it's really slow it's just over 900 megahertz um, but I'm again increasing this by 5 at a time it is getting pretty toasty now on 1.4 volts it's got up to 83 degrees on that last run on two cores which isn't ideal but I'll carry on regardless. I mean, it's it'll be all right up to about 85, 90 degrees. Um, I'm not really running it at that for very long. I'll just let it cool off a bit between runs, and we'll see how far I can get on 1.4 volts.